S Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden Football 2011 EA Sports, baby. Kicking it off with a bang, show number 77, Ray Bork edition. Today, uh, we're going to showcase to you the breakdown of the under smoke defense that we talked about last week on show 76. Also, I'm wearing my new MaddenBible.com t shirt, MB Nation, with the Ten rules to live by on the back. Uh, for more information, if you want to learn a little bit more about that, the swag we got going on, uh, feel free to get in contact with us right here. Uh, go to this link, check it out right there. Uh, but uh, to, for more information, feel free to message Files or myself about that, and we'll uh, let you know about the T-shirts themselves. Um, we have this color as well; it's gray. Uh, this black shirt as well. Per personally, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the black and the gold. Um, the, the silver's nice, the silver's nice, but uh, I'm, I'm the black and gold type guy. Um, so today, a, couple, a lot of big things happened this week. Uh, release of the, the, the car, the car, Carolina offense, uh, that's coming out this week. Also, uh, my the C4 playoffs, I'm uh, currently 13-2 with the Chicago Bears, so looking to head into the playoffs uh, with a head of steam. MRL in the final four with the Raiders, currently undefeated season. Uh, good chance I might play Jay Nays in the finals, but again, you do have to play the game. Uh, the same thing as uh, what happened this weekend with the Seahawks. Looks like the Patriots will be playing the New York Jets uh, next week. 4 p.m. start in Foxborough, Massachusetts. I am absolutely am fired up. Tom Brady. Uh, in Tom Brady, I trust. Belichick, I trust. Going to be a good game, though, regardless. Uh, Rex Ryan came out of the fight once today. Uh, I was talking about uh, how, you know, it, the only reason they lost was because of him. He got out coached. He got out class. I mean, come on, 45 to 3. A little more happened than just getting out coached. Uh, it was an absolutely shellacking. Tom Brady, four touchdowns, I think, what, 300 plus yards uh, passing. It just, it was a little more than just getting out coached, Rex. Uh, hate to break it to you. I mean, again, I'm not taking the Jets lightly. It's going to be a great game. I'm rooting for the Patriots from the bottom of my heart. Dear God, I hope the Patriots win. Uh, it'll just ruin my whole week if they lose. So I uh, hope a lot of guys out the NBA Nation are you know, rooting on for. Uh, the New England Patriots this weekend. Uh, let's uh, talk about today, though, more about the nickel normal under smoke two. What's great about this play is that we're going to bring pressure off the left edge, uh, while we're also looking to bring uh, pressure off the right edge. Whether or not they they slap protect or if they uh, don't slap protect, we're still going to be able to get pressure and it's going to force them to keep extra blockers in. We can bring a man or zone look and also play a max out coverage. Uh, today, though, specifically, we're just going to show the, man, the zone version. Uh, tomorrow's show, we're going to show you the man version. Um, today, we'll, we'll show you that zone, all out zone coverage as well. Quick show today, uh, a little quicker than we've been normally seen. Uh, expecting a lot of snow this week again, so maybe we're going to get outside again and uh, get after a couple more hit sticks on Deep Barlow's. Um, I don't know, you never know, I'm crazy like that. But uh, guys, feel free uh, to let me know any questions you have, uh, anything in the forums, a lot of form activity, you guys signing up. Uh, whatever questions you have, shoot me a message on this messenger. Uh, emails. Uh, as uh, madbible at gmail.com. Instant messenger is madbible. You can follow me, of course, on Twitter, skip 7 Just, you know, talk to me. Let me know. Let me know how you're doing. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times I can just shoot to, shoot it with you and go over whatever uh, whatever information you guys want to know, whatever plays. A lot of times guys will ask me, uh, here in the moment, I'm in the game. Tell me what I can do. So, you know, give them, give them feedback. So, uh, take advantage of that. Uh, a lot of different platforms to get me on. But uh, let's, uh, let's get to the, to the tips. No more jibba jabba. Let's get to the tips. You know what time it is. It's everyone's favorite part of Mad MTV. It's time for the Zoomy Zoom. Ah, uh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, zoom, zoom, zoom. Here we are, zooming in on the on the good old TV. It looks like we might need a little bit more height. As usual. Oh, oh, did I forget to mention? Oh, yeah. There's 137 days left. Oh, no big deal. I don't know until something cool happens. I don't know what it is. You tell me. So if you guys really think the Patriots have a chance of losing this weekend, I would tell you guys are all crazy. Because when you have Tom Brady, you simply don't lose. Hmm, need more, I still need more height, guys. Still need more height. Sorry about that, fellas. Nope, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. Let's try and get 
find some more height here. All right. That should do. That should be good. So, the play we're going to take a look at is from the nickel normal formation. Um, you're not going to find it every nickel normal formation. The playbook I'm actually in right now is the New York Jets. So, uh, what you want to do is come out in nickel normal. Well, you do audible to this so you have more speed in the field, but uh, come out in nickel normal. The play is under smoke too. Don't get it confused with. The other under smoke in the formation, under smoke two spies. The reasons for that is just uh, different linemen dropping, uh, you know, take advantage of uh, certain other aspects of the play. So we like the under smoke two as the play we're going to use. So we select under smoke on offense. We're just going to grab a spread formation. We'll show you what it looks like later with protection. So first and foremost, what I like to do is um, man the line, which will bring my blitzers back back to the middle of the field. The next step, the next move I'm going to be doing is global placing the linebackers in yellow zone. So I hit R1 on the right right uh, stick here and flick up on the joysticks. Now both my linebackers in yellow zones. Next move I do is I place the defensive line to the right. So that move is L1 on the controller and then right on the D-pad and that moves the D-line over to the left. Next move is a bump and run. I like to call it bump and run which is triangle and then down on the d-pad that calls bump and run then i like to manually slide over this blitzing db over to the corner here i then like to go to the, the left d tackle place him on a defensive contain place the uh, right defensive tackle on a quarterback spy and then re-blitz down the right of screen defensive end now it doesn't seem that fancy what we just did there but what's important is the fact that you see because we shifted the defensive line the lefty tackle now is going to run a contain to the left. So let me see, or to the right, I'm sorry. So, uh, for example, if I shift the line back left and I place that defensive tackle on the contain, as you can see here, he's running the contain to the left part of the field. But when I shift it to the right and he is engaged on the right side of the field, meaning he's split to the center and to the right. See how he is there when you shift the line right? Now when I place him on the contain, he's running the contain, as you can see to the right part of the field. Uh, what, what we like about that is the fact uh, that when we slide the line back to the left, he's going to be in a position lined up across from the left guard. Uh, and the reason we like that is because he's lined up from the cross from the left guard, so that means his container is going to drag him all the way across the line of scrimmage. So our goal is to take out the guard, the center, and the other guard with one defensive player that's not even blitzing. He's just containing. He's just trying to drag those guys away from the pressure that we're bringing off the edge here. So we're trying to get a, a two-on-one matchup against a left tackle uh, to sneak in pressure off the back edge. Uh, next from here, what I like to do is I like to place both outside DBs on purple zones. And to do that, what you like want to do is down on the D-pad and then right on the D-pad. That'll place him in a purple zone. Go to the other defensive back, place down on the D-pad, right on the D-pad. That's a purple zone. And then just to position my guys a little better, I would take this yellow zone, recognize what the formation is, what part of the field is uncovered here. So what I would do is I'd place Beeson lined up across from the slot receiver. I'm not too worried about him. Um, if he, you know, he's in between two zones, he's also deep safety held over the top. So don't worry about too much about him. Um, and then our other linebacker here, I'm going to shadow this guy over the middle of the field as well. So if you kind of look at it, most every single guy on the field is covered. And that's the objective of this defense. So now what you're going to see here, pressure should come in off the left edge. Snap, hike, and pressure right there off the left edge, um, untouched. There was no slide protection whatsoever down there, but we'll show you what that looked like. So as you can see here, just as we said before, this uh, contain, watch what's going to happen. We're actually kind of running the stunt or changing up the way that he's going to rush the quarterback. Now, you know, a man doesn't exactly give you the tools to create this, but you see this type of press rush a lot of times in the NFL, try and coax offensive the line making mistakes and make errors. Uh, but with a defensive contain, we build ability uh, to, to mimic more of an NFL-like type pass rush and NFL-type blitz. Uh, so as you can see, the contain does a great job confusing those three linemen like we wanted. Uh, back edge, we have a blitzing defensive end to take that one tackle so he can't recover. And again, again, we have that two versus one matchup against the, the weak side tackle here. And it's a free shot at the quarterback with our defensive back. And let's take a look at the coverage down the field. We have a purple zone over there, so you could have gotten that flat. The purple over there could have gotten that flat. Middle of the field's covered. We also have two safeties deep. 
And let's not forget about our spy over the middle of the field. So as you can see, we have great defensive coverage over the middle of the field. We'll show you that one more time. We'll show you that we'll show you that quick though this time. So here's the play. We come out, snap, hike. And now I'm ready to go. So I, oh, I got cut up, but that's the that's how you set it up. He's ready to go now. Um, also, it's important too is to know you don't have to put these guys on purples. If that if you can't get to them, don't worry about it. Don't put them on purples. Uh, all you gotta do is just leave them on yellow. The pressure will still get there. Your deep downfield cover will be won't be as good, but your short field uh, will be amazing. So here's the pressure again. The blitz again out the left edge. As you can see, untouched. Uh, just absolutely destroyed the quarterback. So this time, um, we're going to set the defense up the same way. We'll just leave the yells on just to show you what it looks like. Just because we're going to have four, five guys playing at the zone underneath the deep safeties over top, which is, you know, giving us phenomenal short field coverage. You know, this is what's going to happen if they, the defense decides, oh, we're going to slide protect left to pick up the pressure. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Do that. Whatever you, whatever you like. As you can notice, the slide protection Still wasn't able to skid over enough to get and pick up the pressure on the outside edge there. As you can see, he what the tackle was able to recover. But what we're looking at here is this defensive end uh, might need to put a little more a guy with more speed there. I'm not sure, but um, let's uh, let's just see if we can get a, guy, a linebacker with some speed there. But as you can see, that linebacker tried to get in untouched. We're gonna put Tom Davis there because we all know he's an animal. All right, under smoke. Little flats, so here's the play again. So as you can see, it's set up very quickly. Slide protect left this time. And that time we were trying to get the pressure. Tom Davis didn't come off the edge. The idea what we're trying to create here is pressure off the right edge of the part of the field when we use slide protection. We're trying to get that linebacker to become untouched off the left edge. We'll keep running it because it does work. It does have a lot to do with the speed that's on the, on the field. So that, is a, that is a pretty large deciding factor in what, how the success of this play. But here we all show you again. Pressure should come off the left edge. The right edge, that's what we're looking for. As you can see, that time Tom Davis came absolutely just screaming off the left, the right edge untouched with slide protection left to pick up the pressure left. So that's a big problem that we now have because now we're able to attack our opponent whether they slide protect left or they slide protect right. Um, so ultimately what we're forcing the defense to do or the offense to do is we're forcing them uh, to definitely keep in a, an extra blocker in the back there, whether it's a tight end, whether it's a halfback, we're forcing them, we're dictating the pace of the game, uh, saying to them, you have to block an extra guy in the backfield, otherwise we're going to sneak that defensive in off the right of the edge, untouched every time. Uh, so let's show you what it looks like if we go to another formation and they decide to keep a, a halfback in to pick up the pressure. So we'll go to the split slot, flat combo, we can block both guys on the same side. Now, what's going to happen in this scenario is is something, you know, the pressure will get picked up, but really what we're looking for, uh, we're still looking for a one-on-one -on -one matchup with our blitzing defensive end against one of their halfbacks. And that's exactly what we're going to get. So if they, you know, if they block the halfback, if they think, okay, well, if I slap protect right, slap protect left, pick up the left part of the pressure, and then I'm going to block my fullback, my tight end, I should be uh, hunky dory, correct? Yeah. So that should be the, the case. So what's going to happen though is this defensive end is going to get a line drive shot at the halfback, and typically they cannot block him very well. So as you can see, that's what we're looking for. So yes, the pressure still can be picked up, but again, what we're doing is we're creating that mismatch every single time with that rushing linebacker on a halfback who just just can't pick him up. Pressure still is in there quick. Defensive coverage is absolutely phenomenal. There's one less guy on the route, so it's again our advantage. Um, how that will work out there. So now, say for example, the defense says, "Okay, well, we're gonna uh, offense says we're gonna try and we're gonna uh, slot protect right to pick up the pressure right, and we're gonna keep a half back in on the right to pick it up as well because we're not letting you beat us." So here it is, pressure off the left, and now you see the pressure comes off the left. 
whether you send pressure block left, block right, doesn't matter. We're going to get favorable matchups. It's exactly what we want because we're dictating to the offense how they are going to play the game, and that's what's important. Um, we're going to get and show you the man cover or the uh, zone, the zone max coverage right now. It's same formation, same type of setup, but this time we're just going to coax the defense into thinking that we're presenting pressure. But in actuality, we're just playing all out max coverage defense. So again, same setup. We're going to shift the line right, contain the D tackle, spy the other D tackle. Well, this time both the ends are going to put in purple zones. Put both in purple zones, uh, and what we like to do here is move Beeson again over to that slot. And then what we do is we just roam with this other linebacker. Don't forget, move over this uh, defensive back to mimic that pressure. Now, as you can see, we have a four-man coverage deep, two yellows, two purples, a spy, and then a flat to the left. You don't get much better coverage than this. You really don't. So when they're just waiting for the pressure to come, they're expecting pressure, you know, maybe they keep an extra guy in the block, block Stewart, send out uh, to the flat here. You know, they're, they're really anticipating pressure. They can't get ready for it. They slap protect left. We're not, even, we're not even rushing one guy at the quarterback, but a lot of times it's contained. We'll see, how, see how that, see that rush angle? Guys are absolutely covered on this play, but that sometimes that defensive contain, I will tell you more times than not, that defensive contain is going to loop outside in the end here and going to come in and shoot free up that gap, especially if you have a fast defensive end there, like a, on the Oakland Raiders, if you have Quentin Groves there. Uh, or Jarvis Moss, he's going to shoot in off that the offensive line and come in untouched. It's almost like a one-man rush uh, with just absolute blanket coverage. I mean, who are you going to throw to? You literally cannot throw to anyone. So uh, we're going to show that same setup this time. Again, shift right, contain, spy, purple, purple, send back. Let's mimic the pressure, make them think we're bringing pressure just like it is. So again, this looks exactly the same like we're bringing pressure, but this time... All out coverage, sending guys deep, doesn't matter what the offense does, uh, we're going to be able to cover it because we have probably the best max coverage defense in the game, though. Uh, contain off the edge, as you can have it, you can have it. I mean, I'm backing up, I don't know what's happened there. And bad down ball. So, for another exciting show, gentlemen, it is not your dent, it is not my dent. A little, actually a little longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be a quick show, but uh, tomorrow's will be quick. We only have one set to cover. Maybe even give you a little extra something something on the side. But uh, you and me together, Mad Bible Nation, we are changing the Mad community one snap at a time.